video and photos from the scene of Sunday's mass shooting, all hoping to piece together exactly what happened. Two brothers now face gun charges in connection with the massacre, massacre but not for the shooting itself. 27-year-old Smiley Martin was injured in the shooting and will be arrested when he leaves the hospital. His brother, 26-year-old DeAndre Martin, was taken into custody yesterday. And tonight, reporter Valina Jones with new video that could help police determine what led up to the shooting. Live stream video timestamp Saturday at 945, four hours and 15 minutes before the shooting, appears to show Smiley Martin, DeAndre Martin, and Joshua Hoy together. So like Whoever you is, cuz you don't know where we at, you ain't gonna say Stop playing. Who has yeah. No. Die slow, n Family members of Hoy, one of the six that was killed during the shooting, confirm this is him on video. In the video, you can hear the group talking about going to a club, and Smiley appears to be holding a handgun. Stop playing with me, though. CBS 13 was able to determine that video was shot at this parking lot near two apartment complexes in North Sacramento. We spoke to residents here who tell us they saw a group of people around the same time the video appears to be taken. One person telling us... They called 911 to report the activity. Once I saw the video, then I knew that they had responsibility for it. I've been doing them most of their life. I spoke to a person who has direct knowledge of the Martin brothers and others involved. We're hiding their identity for safety reasons. It looks like to me they were planning to go have some type of the OK Corral showdown. You know, it makes me sick to think about that none of these people should be dead. They believe the downtown mass shooting was a result of two groups fighting and innocent people getting caught in the crossfire. The reality is there's no real reason why those people are dead. They just want to seem like they are bigger than life themselves. And, and whatever it takes to get that street credit, they'll do it. 18 people injured, six of them dead, and multiple families grieving. And a shooting, they say, should have never happened. The right thing would be that people would not be dead. Well, that can't be done. But at least let them have justice. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh the honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that teaching the truth and sincerity across the four winds, and to the Akim that teaching the same truth and sincerity, like the shallow one, and to the large remnant, men, women, and children, and the speckled bird, that look like the heathen nations, but all the Hebrew, true Hebrew Israelites, like the shallow one. So I want to get into this, this quick lesson. Uh, it's going to be real fast. And I go by the name of Rapa Allah, uh, translated to the Hebrew, meaning Yahweh had healed. Yahweh heals. So we're going to get right into it. It's going to be quick. And we'll speak upon it, uh, this mass shooting that happened in Sacramento, California. And uh, and this one individual, as you as you uh, listen to the uh, to the news clip, he he stated uh, uh, he made a a comment, something to the effect of that these wicked two wicked individuals that did the shooting was looking for some type of street credit. Okay, so it didn't have anything to do with these wicked individuals. Uh, the Most High, he ordained their steps to go and perform this wicked decree that the Most High sanctioned through the left-hand side. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay, so how, these two individuals... They had no control over where they was going. It was predestined and preordained for them to go and to commit that mass murder. Okay? Not spiritual demon Satan, as we get into it, is most high Yahweh. Why Yahweh shine? Well, they teach our people on a day-to-day -day basis when they go to those cemetery schools. We call them cemetery schools. But the two-third wicked of our people, they call them seminary schools. They only teach death and destruction to our people. So they don't know the true power. So these two wicked individuals, the Most High put the Spirit upon them to commit to uh, do his bidding on the left-hand side. And as we get into these uh, scriptures, you're going to find out. We use the scriptures. Not our own vain opinion, like they teach our wicked people, the two-thirds, 
increase the energy layer. Okay? So we'll read it again. It wasn't these two wicked individuals. It was the Most High Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh shall ordain their steps to bring forth uh, destruction upon these wicked individuals that, that was having a good time in the club. So they thought they was having a good time. I'm going to read it again. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. A man going of the Lord Yahweh. It's in all caps. It's it translated through the Hebrew Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? So how can a man understand his own way when Yahweh, while Yahweh shall put the evil angels upon him to go and bring forth this wicked decree to bring judgment upon the, you know, two thirds of our people. I'm not sure who all got put to death, but to bring, if it were, well, I know it was Israelites there. Okay. To, so this decree was to bring judgment. Okay. So to prove this even further, that it's come from the Most High Yahweh Yahweh Shai. So we're going to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 28. Like I said, it's going to be something brief and quick. Chapter 28 and, and verse 5. Like I stated in Proverbs 24, I mentioned Salaki, chapter 20, verse 24. A man's going is of the law, Yahweh. Then how should he understand his own way? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so now, the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh has sent evil angels upon them to manipulate their mind to bring forth this decree that he wanted to destroy these individuals on that a specific night. Okay, so we're going to prove it. So we're going to go to the Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 5. And keep in mind that that wicked individual said, stated, he said something to the effect of that these two wicked individuals they did the shooting, they were seeking some type of street credit. But we're going to find out who was seeking street credit. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the law understand all things. So that wicked individual that you that you heard in the news clip saying that these two wicked individuals was uh, seeking some type of street credit. So let me read it again. Evil men understand not judgment. So this wicked individual that made that statement, he don't understand that the Most High Yahweh, while Yahweh shine, put evil angels to manipulate their heart, which is their mind, to perform that the wicked decree that he wanted to put these people to death. Okay? So evil men understand not judgment. But they that seek the Lord, Yahweh, understand all things. So the elect, which is the one third, we understand that the Most High Yahweh is putting people to death on a continual, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and, and we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. That he put people to death on a day-to-day -day basis. Evil men understand not judgment. So when you hear the men of the Lord preaching this gospel that you see on the highways and the byways, we preaching the truth, but that's okay. So our people continue to walk by us, start with the apostles and the elder great millstone and the other occupants that teach the same truth as the series called the Fawim. Okay, so evil men understand when they see our people get put to death or the heathen nations get put to death on a, every day, on a day-to-day -day basis, they're thinking that it's just something, some coincidence. But it's not a coincidence. Okay, now I'm going to prove it through the scriptures. So we're going to go to the book of uh, Zephaniah and verse 3 and prove it through the scriptures. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do it. He bring his judgments to light. See, his judgments. Like I said, evil men understand not judgments. E evil men under understand not the ways of the Most High or the God or the Bible. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, where they teach our people in Christianity land he is all love. When he makes his return, when he sent his son, only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, y'all going to be dismayed because y'all been taught all these lies that he's all love. He brings judgment. Even men understand not judgment, right? Okay. 
Now, I'm going to continue to read Zephaniah chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Okay? So like, the unjust knoweth no shame. See, evil men, they, they have no idea that the Most High is bringing forth these judgments every day, every morning, putting people to death. Evil men understand not judgment as, as it states in, in, in Proverbs 28 and 5. Okay? So the Most High, every morning, he putting, he bringing mad death and destruction upon our wicked people. And he also mentioned, let me, let me go ahead and, um, let, let me do this. Let me go ahead and breeze through it. Like I say, it's going to be something real quick. So I'm going to go to the book. I'm going to go to the book of Job. I'm going to go to the book of Job in chapter four and verse seven. And, and remember, this individual, he he made a comment uh, as these people were innocent. As you watch the news clip, listen to the news clip, he, he mentioned innocent people being innocent. And, he, and, and before I read this uh, precept, uh, I'm not going to go all deep into it because I want to keep it short and brief. See, when he mentioned people being innocent, now let me read it first and then I'll speak on it. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whosoever perish, being innocent. Okay, let me speak on it. Who's, and then I'll finish reading the precept. No, no, let me finish it first. It's like you. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Now, I, now let me read it again and speak on it. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, Whosoever perish being innocent, there's a search thing is in the scriptures, and I'm not going to try to go through it because it's countless videos starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the other archib on Great Millstone all the way down. They put many precepts or many classes together on reincarnation in the scripture. I put a, quite a few together myself, okay? And the same archib brother that teach. You come at the same doctrine of Yahweh White Hawashai, who Great Millstone, GMS follows. This uh, Star with the Apostles and the Elders from Great Millstone have put multiple uh, classes together on reincarnation. So, Job 4 and 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. In the reincarnation, you never know what these wicked individuals have done in their past lives, being reincarnated back on earth. See, the Most High, he will let you get away uh, maybe two or three lifetimes. And the third time or the fourth time, you'll get punished for it. When you come back, when you go to the spirit world and you come back down, and then he'll put, he'll inflict your judgment, your punishment upon you. So we come back every third and fourth generation. So these were the individuals that was innocent. When you see a baby get put to death, they was innocent because they, they pay for their sins in their past lives. And this is only for the elect, the hopeful elect, that one third, that, that small remnant, that cluster. You two thirds are not for you. This is only for the elect, the hopeful elect to hear this word. But it's for your, it's for you two to hear it, but it's for your destruction. Where were the righteous cut off? So, going by the law, statutes, and commandments, the best of our abilities, we have to rehearse the righteous acts. The law is not going to save us or get us delivered, but doing, keeping them to the best of our ability, and then doing the works, putting in a, putting in the works, and then having this gospel, this true gospel. So these wicked individuals. They came back for their judgment. And that's what it, and that's what it was all about. Okay, let me let me read a little bit more. Verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity, 
these same individuals, they come back in the reincarnation, they got put to death at this club in Sacramento. And so wickedness reaped the same. So that was their judgment. Okay? So let me go ahead and breeze through it. And keep in mind, this wicked individual, he stated that uh, these two wicked individuals that put these people to death was searching for some type of street credit. No, it didn't have nothing to do with these those two wicked individuals. Uh, I'm going to go to the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. Let me highlight it. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? What evil happened in Sacramento, California? You just heard it. I'm going to read it again. Like I said, evil me understand not judgment. Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city of Sacramento, California, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord Yahweh is in cap, all cap, have not done it? So the Lord put, the, put those people, those wicked individuals at a death. He used those two wicked uh, two-thirds to put them to death. Okay? So to prove it, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to uh, Sirach, which will be Ecclesiasticus, to prove it even further. We're going to go to we're going to go to uh, Sirach, which will be Ecclesiasticus. Book of, Book of Surat, Surat, please ask us. It'll be 39 and 28. You highlight it, you see it. And these wicked individuals, it's like you, they was created for a purpose. Even me and understand not judgment, you can see in Proverbs 28 and 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. And these two individuals were created for vengeance. They were spirits that were created for vengeance. Which in fury lay on their soul strokes. And the time of destruction they pour on, out their force. And it was a time, okay, and appease the wrath of him that made them. So Yahweh, well, Yahweh shall send those wicked individuals. He created those spirits just for their time, just for their appointed time. For those spirits that got slaughtered in Sacramento, California, to come back for their judgment and the reincarnation just for this, just for this time. So he created these spirits. Let me read it again. Ecclesiastes 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which their fury lay on soul strokes. And, and then they lay on soul strokes and put those wicked individuals to death. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Most High Yahweh, he was pleased with that. All right? So it was soothing to Yahweh. 
for to bring judgment upon those wicked individuals in Sacramento. So we'll go to uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Thirty-two and thirty-nine. Number thirty-two, and we read these uh, precepts all the time. And you know, and the reason being, because death and destruction happens every day. So we have to, so we have to bring these precepts out. We don't care how. How many times y'all hear it, the Most High is, is, is showing himself. Going to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say I live forever. So Yahweh, he lived forever. Yahweh, why Yahweh shall live forever? There's no God with him. Spiritual demons say he didn't do that. You just heard it. I'm going to read it again. You just heard what, exactly what he said. You know, see now that I even I am he. And there's no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there, and there any... Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So these individuals couldn't be delivered no matter what their wicked individual thought he knew about why these two wicked individuals that come in and, and did the man's shooting. He said it shouldn't happen. Yahweh said there's none that can deliver out of his hand. So no matter what that wicked individual thought that, that it was some hope for these people, they couldn't be delivered because the Most High sanctioned it. Okay? I'm going to go to the book. Well, let me read this, and I'm going to close out. Let me go to uh, Nah, you know what? I'll close out with this one. You know what? No, let me pull this because Let me read this. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to first, first Thessalonians. Yeah, okay. I'm going to read this, first uh, Thessalonians 5 and 3. When these individuals went to the nightclub in Sacramento, you know, they're thinking everything is back to normal, you know, uh, during the pandemic. But they have no idea that all hell is about to break break out again or break, uh, or break out again. So, so they're, in their, they're in their comfort zone and they're thinking uh, that everything is about to return back to normal. So they're in their peace and safety. So I'm going to go to 1 Thessalonians in chapter 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming up upon them. So did not sudden destruction come up come up on those individuals that the most high Yahweh send those two death angels to put these wicked people to death? So they thought that was in their peace and safety. Then sudden destruction came upon them, as to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And so this is. A, a, a twofold scripture, or, or well, or threefold, uh, going into times of Jacob trouble, but this can apply to that same scripture. Or well, it's like it, until that same time period, because these wicked individuals thought they was in peace and safety, but so destruction came upon them, and Yahweh brought that destruction upon them. Okay, so let me. I'll close out with this last one here. Which would be, uh, let me go to the book of, of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We're in the time period, okay, so we're in the time now 
of great judgment, great destruction. Great slaughter is coming. Yahweh is about to bring death and destruction. Something that you've never seen. But the hope we let, the one three, we understand what's going on. We know what's about to happen. So we're fishing, but we're trying to activate the hope we let. Okay, that we're predestined to hear it and understand it and fall in line and call on the true power. Yahweh. Yah is he. How he is or exists, who the world even calls God, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, is your Hawashai. Yah, see, Hawashai, he saves, he delivers. So the true men of your Hawashai, why your is preaching this gospel across the four winds of the earth, starting with the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And the other brothers that teaching the same, likewise, doctrine of your Hawashai, your Hawashai. We understand what, we understand what's going on. The love of many shall wax cold. And that's why these things are happening. We're in the end times. But I'm going to read this last verse. St. Matthew 24 and verse 13. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. The whole filet, which is the one third, the small remnant. So I'm going to close out until the next one. Above a ball, DTA soon, shot a warm.